Welcome into this week's Grizzly Spotlight, covered by ATI Physical Therapy. I'm Sam Levin, and joining us this week for a conversation is Grizzlies right-hander Will LaMarche, a guy who's had a long journey back from injury. You made your first appearance just a couple of weeks ago in the Frontier League. How did it feel, and what were the emotions like? Well, it was a long time since I got into a, a baseball game, as you and I talked last time. Last time I was in was July of 2014. Um, ran into some injuries, and... Um, you know, it felt like a long time coming, um, but to get out there again, it was just this un incredible feeling um, of adrenaline, first and foremost, and that was kind of the thing that you can't train for uh, the game kind of adrenaline. Um, there's nothing like it. So that was uh, kind of new to me again, and, um, you know, to get back out there, it was, I felt jagged, you know, trying to control that ad adrenaline, you know, you, it's, it's hard to be kind of smooth at first, but uh, after the first or second hitter, I, I was like, okay, you know, this this is this feels right again. I feel like I'm competing, and um, you know, it was it was exactly how I, I would have wanted it to feel. You know, as far as excitement and fun goes. You spent a couple of years in the in the Detroit Tigers organization, and it was a long road back from injury. What was the rehab process like? As all these different bruises and bumps and injuries popped up. Well. Getting injured with the Tigers was my second time rehabbing. Um, I went through it the first time with Tommy John back in 2010, um, and, and I kind of rehabbed myself. Um, I was cut from my school, and so I really learned how to take it upon myself and be responsible about the rehab process. And um, so going with the Tigers, it was nothing new. Um, you know, as, as bad as that may sound, you know, it's not new getting hurt, but it's part of the game. And uh, without injuries, first of all, I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't you know, have learned all the things that I know about myself, um, you know, how deep you really dig when you get injured. Um, but with the Tigers, they handled it great. Um, they're very, um, you know, scheduled with their appointments. And, um, you know, they let me, you know, if I had a setback, they understood. And, um, you know, it's because of them that I'm healthy now. And, um, yeah. You told me when you got injured that it took a certain belief in yourself to get back on the bump and really start rehabbing your injury. And you said that's something unique about the Frontier League as well, that everybody's had to face a lot of adversity in this league, and it's almost a bond that the guys in that locker room share. Absolutely. Um, like I was telling you, um, everybody in this league has been told no by somebody, um, whether it was not getting drafted or getting drafted and then getting released. That was my situation. Um, and so when you kind of share that bond, like you said, um, you learn to rally behind each other and you really learn, learn how to root for, for your teammates. Um, and, um, you know, unfortunately it came through the way of, of someone telling you no. But, um, you know, I think that that's a really special thing to feel for your teammates is when you, you truly deep down want to pull for them and, and want to see the best out of them. And that actually brings out the best in you. And that's something I've really learned this year more than any year. And it's been... Uh, something, a gift, honestly, that I, uh, you know, couldn't have, couldn't have really asked for. I didn't, I didn't know what that really felt like until this year. So it's been really amazing. Um, yeah. You touched on it a little bit as well. The journey back and and the journey during college as well. You made a number of stops. Got uh, cut from one team. Had to join a couple of junior colleges, and then ultimately went to Louisiana State. And I know it was your dream to play there. What was that experience like? Oh man. Ineffable. Um, getting cut from my first school. Well, LSU was always my dream school as a kid, you know, but being a kid from California and going all the way to Louisiana, that kind of seemed like a stretch. Um, but going to Long Beach, I, I didn't, I, I won't say I settled for that. That's an incredible feat. Um, going to Long Beach State, and it didn't work out. Um, and I was crushed when that happened. Uh, I didn't know re really where my career was going to go. Um, and, and fortunately, I got to learn some, some great things and through junior college um, and without that experience I remember getting the call from LSU and I couldn't I couldn't believe it um, uh, yeah, it just kind of take me back to it right now but I remember I went home that day and I, I told my mom I got guess who calls me out of nowhere she goes I said guess who calls me and she said LSU right away and we just both kind of hugged and it was absolutely incredible um, I couldn't say no I, I mean I immediately committed but yeah, it's been a long, it was a long road to get there, but everything worked out.
You know, it certainly seems like you put in a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication as well to battle back from injuries. And obviously we're talking to Will LaMarche, who went to Louisiana State. Now he's with Gateway here in his fourth pro year. And Will, if you could take a snapshot of your 2016 campaign at the end of this year, what do you want to be able to say about what you've accomplished this season? That is a great question. <clears throat> well, um, it's been a long time since I was able to play in a game. Um, and I knew that the pitcher that I was in 2014 wasn't the pitcher I, I envisioned myself of being. And I had two years to really contemplate and visualize and consider what kind of um, pitcher I wanted to become. And, um, and that is someone who has, holds composure in some of the, you know, the most um, pressurized situations in the game. Um, someone who is able to bring out their best ability when the game's at its peak. Um, and someone who is, uh, you know, a quality role model for people to, to um, you know, to also rally behind. And um, if I could take a snapshot at the end of this season, I would, I would hope that I'm there, if not really close to, to uh, accomplishing that. Well, it certainly seems like you've done a lot of soul searching, and uh, well, maybe it's a, a new journey for you here in the Frontier League as Will Marsh joins us on this week's Grizzly Spotlight, covered by ATI. Will, thanks so much. Absolutely, thank you. We'll talk to you next week on the Grizzly Spotlight, covered by ATI Physical Therapy.